guys, Greg Mender here. What's going on? Welcome back to another episode of Marvel Contest of Champions. And today, we're going to be taking our rank 2 level 20 of 20 She-Hulk up to rank 3 level 30 of 30. Now, I did get to play with her a little bit yesterday. And uh, I'm pretty pretty happy with the new character. Um, anytime we get a new 4 star, it's always great for the arenas. It adds more points. It gives you more teams that you can actually run with. So I'm, I'm pretty happy about that in that fact. I would love it if she was uh, awakened. Because she has a really good signature ability. But unfortunately she's not. Hopefully we'll get her awakened sometime in the future. But currently we are sitting at 1,818 on the power index. At rank 2 level 20 and 20. 6,509 on health. 534 on attack like i said citing precedent it's it's not unlocked yet so we don't have that signature ability to to really go over abilities stun four pummel four and poison immunity synergy bonuses she has a 15 percent stun chance with daredevil classic and netflix daredevil six percent health with hulk five percent power gain with superior iron man and a 5% perfect block chance with Kamala Khan. So, it's like I said in the last video with her. She actually has some pretty decent uh, signature, or not signature abilities, but uh, synergy bonuses. The, you could pair her up with uh, Superior Iron Man and get a 5% power gain. And pair her up with Daredevil Classic or Daredevil Netflix and get the 15% stun chance. Now, I know definitely if I run her in the arenas... I'm going to be pairing her up with my Daredevil Netflix because he isn't awakened either. I usually try to keep my teams separated in, in the fact that I only do rank 3's together, I only do rank 4's together, I will only do rank 5's together unless I, I run out of one of the one of the others. So She'll definitely be paired up with Netflix Daredevil in the fact that he is, uh, he is a rank 3 as well. So that's going to be a pretty decent team there and I'll, I'll be able to throw someone else in on that team probably... Uh, Probably a Luke Cage, because that would be pretty decent. Or um, Iron Fist, because I usually don't like to run the same class either. So it would be better to have uh, a skill, a science, and a mystic on a team. So that will probably be the team that I run with, because they're all rank 3. But let's pop out of here, and let's upgrade her. Let's upgrade. So we got everything we need. It's going to cost us uh, 54850 to uh, do the initial rank up. And I'm not going to speed through this one because it really doesn't take too long to get these guys up. I can just sit here and talk to you guys in the process. I mean, she's going to be done real quick here. So we're already at 20. Just off of one bar. I want to see where she stacks up with the rest of my rank 3s though. Because I've got a feeling she's actually going to be pretty decent. Uh, she wasn't too far off from Rhino, who was at the bottom of my list. Rhino, see, Rhino's the very bottom. So where does she fall at? So she falls right next to Magic. Um, so she kind of almost dead center. She's almost, she's like middle of the pack. But she's not awful. She's she's right next to magic who has pretty good prestige uh, now as far as prestige goes if you get her awakened to a certain level she's not going to be your best option for um, taking up to rank fives but she's pretty beastly character for the females I mean if, if we take a look let's uh, let's take a look at her info now after we get done after we've got done with the rank up so we got 2568 on the power index 9,110 on health, 746 on attack, stun 4, or stun 5, pummel 5. So, 9,007. So, let's take a look at her compared to uh, some of the other females. So, she has tons. She has tons more of health. And these are all, like, sitting at rank 3, so... As far as the females go, she definitely has a lot more health, even that more than uh, Jane Foster Thor, who's sitting at 8,000. Guillotine, 
seven thousand. So I mean, she's really, she's really kind of up there as far as the health goes, and her attacks pretty well a lot higher than most of the other ones as well too. The only person that's beat her so far is uh, Ms. Marvel with the attack at rank 3 unawakened so that's that's pretty decent I'm not sure but let's check out some of our yup I mean she beats out Gamora and these ones are awakened too these guys are absolutely awakened at rank 3 and she beats out Electro on that she beats out all of them so she definitely has more uh, hit power and more health than just about any other character at rank 3 female wise uh, aside from Ms. Marvel being able to hit more but she's definitely got more health than every single one of them so she's she's kind of beastly of a character at least as far as female characters go in this game I want to let you guys check out her fight style so let's jump in here go into verses and we'll find us a match real quick I do uh, I do like that in the sense of the fact that uh, it makes sense to me that she should have uh, more attack and more health than any of the other female characters in here because she is she is a female version of the Hulk. Gives a pretty good match here too against a five star Ant Man. She is a female version of the Hulk. She should be able to hit harder. She should have more health. She should honestly, uh, they should honestly both have a little bit of a regeneration property in my, um, my opinion. But unfortunately they don't. I do like her fight style. I'm going to get hit with that L1. Awesome. I'm trying to do the heavy attack and it's just not working out for me. There it is. She's got a pretty decent level uh, heavy attack there that I like. Now he's not gonna hit me with it now, and she has the potential to stun. I like her her abilities. Obviously, stun's not gonna pop off every single time, but let's block that. There's a level one attack. There's our stun. But yeah, I, I do like her fight style. It's different, especially for a female. She's more of the tougher hitting kind of of a character. So I like that. Let's hit him with an L1 again. Uh, I thought we would have took him out there. Ooh, now he's starting to stack on us, but he's down. So we took him down pretty easy. <laughs> her, her finishing bit, uh, her little finish her stance there's kind of funny I think I don't know I mean, it's just me I thought it was kind of funny but overall I like her I'm not sure exactly where I would use her at she'd probably be best served uh, she'd probably be best served in alliance wars on defense she doesn't really have any abilities that proc so I mean probably your best bet would be sticking her somewhere that um, she has an enhanced just the uh, the enhanced attack and enhanced defense or health would probably be the best place to put her I don't really know of anywhere else she would she would be that that great to be uh, used the 15% um, stun chance is pretty nice especially uh, nowadays like you could you could stack her with um, Put her and Netflix Daredevil or Classic Daredevil on a team with Black Widow and Hulk or Hulk Buster. Now, you're probably going to get better synergy bonuses if you stack it with Hulk because you're going to be getting the health boost as well. But if you put those guys together on a team, you're going to have a pretty good chance to stun off of, uh, off of abilities. Uh, this right here is just a 15% chance to stun all around. And I know that with Hulk and Black Widow, it's a it's a chance to stun off of your level one and level or your your uh, special attacks, basically just about any of your special attacks. So if you put those four guys together on a team, you're going to be doing pretty good, uh, having a pretty good possibility to stun just about all the time. So that'd be a pretty good team to run with, I would think. So you'd have She-Hulk and 
Daredevil or Netflix Daredevil along with Hulk and Black Widow. And uh, I think that'd be a pretty awesome team, to be honest. I think you actually get a buff off of... Uh... Well, let's check. Let's check real quick, just to, to kind of see. Let's go into... A f no, we're not going to fight, but we're just going to go in here and take a look real quick. Let's put them all on a team together here. Let's, because uh, we've already got Black Widow there. So let's take all of these guys off. Let's put Daredevil, Hulk, and She-Hulk on a team together. And you know what? Let's see if we can, there we go. Uh, no. Not really digging that one. Better off getting more of a possibility for. Uh... There we go. So that's not a pretty. That's not. A, that's not an awful team all around. I mean, you're getting the 25% uh, chance to stun off each special attack, a 15% chance to stun, and you're getting 6% health along with 10% power gain. And 12% armor. So overall, that's that's pretty decent. Uh, that's a pretty decent team to me. And you'd have a pretty good team of heavy hitters too. You'd have Hawkeye for your power drains and your bleeds. She-Hulk for stuns. Hulk for just being a beastly character overall, period. Daredevil for uh, crit hits and stuns. And Black Widow for evades and... Pretty much anybody else in the game that would give you detrimentals just from hitting them and the fact that she is just beastly as it is anyway. She's probably one of the best female characters in the game. But I think that'd be a pretty decent team. That's a lot of pretty good synergy bonuses. Mostly for the stun and the uh, power gains though. I like that a pretty, pretty decent amount. But alright guys, so that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and it's the first time you're watching the channel, Please consider leaving a sub on it. If you enjoyed the video itself, please leave a like on it. As always, guys, remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.